It's been 100 years and one day since the Wofford Terrier football team last beat the South Carolina Gamecocks. You have to go back to 1917 and November 17th of that year to find a Terrier victory over USC. Well, this year's version of the Terriers will give it a go today as we are at williams Bryce Stadium in Columbia where Wofford, playoff mound, will close out the regular season against USC. Wofford coming in with an impressive 9-1 and one record. USC having a nice year with a mark of 7-3. and three. This is the first meeting between these clubs in five seasons. If you go back to 2012, Wofford came in here in November, a game in which the Terriers already knew they were going to the playoffs and put South Carolina in an uncomfortable spot. The game was 7-7 in the fourth quarter before the Gamecocks would go on to win 24-7. How will things turn out today? Let's have a look at the highlights. We've had every scenario every scenario this year we're ready for it so get out there do not be fearful do not doubt do not doubt the darkness of doubt will paralyze you forget that you be who you can be the best you can be you got it yes, sir. let's do it oh, second and ten from the 42 in the Terrier end of the field, Bentley out of the gun. Terriers coming on a stunt. Bentley being chased, and Terrence Morris will get him. A sack for Terrence Morris back at the 48-yard line. He came off the edge unblocked, and he got Bentley from the blind side. That play loses, what, about five? It'll be third and long coming up for South Carolina. First and 10 from the 19. They go out of the wing bone. Stoddard is the fullback. Goodson, play action, tailing to his right, now rolling, throws. That is caught. A reception made just about the first down marker at the 28-yard line. That is Jason Hill with the catch for the Terriers. The sophomore out of Boiling Springs, a nine-yard reception before Jamarcus King stops him. It'll be second down and a yard. Goodson started to his left, tailed to his right, made a nice throw on the run. I like that pass play early. Get them back on their heels yeah. a little bit. Goodson out of the gun with two backs. Handoff, slanting left, and a good hole. 40, 35, down to the 32-yard line. First carry of the day for Chase Nelson as he picks up 14 on just a little simple trap play to the left. Van said it earlier. The Wofford offensive line is really doing a nice job of asserting themselves and, quite honestly, just handling the line of scrimmage at the moment. This will be a 32-yard attempt from the left hash mark. Out of the hold of Miller Mosley, Ross Hammond will snap it. Good snap, spot down, plenty of distance on the kick, and it is good. Luke Carter gives Wofford the lead as he boots a 32-yard field goal. He is now 10 out of 11 on his kicks this year. They send two receivers to the wide side. That's the left, one to the right. Play action. Bentley under fire. Billy Hinton will take care of him. A sack for Hinton at the 50-yard line. That play loses five. Terriers with their second sack of the day on Jake Bentley. This time it's Hinton from Westchester, Ohio. Just a little bit of a delay there as Hinton found the gap and hit Bentley uh, pretty solidly. In fact, Jake Bentley had the ball kind of bobble in his hands. In motion right goes Hurst. In fact, two men in motion setting up two wings and now Bentley is up under center with Denson behind him. Play action, quarterback rolling right, almost dropped and he throws it incomplete. The Terriers pressured him and Bentley bounces it incomplete in front of Hayden Hurst and Wofford's going to take over on downs. And pardon me, the receiver was Jacob August, but give all the credit in the world to Terrence Morris and Weston Roundtree who got in there to pressure the quarterback. And it's Wofford football on downs with Denson the single back behind him. Bentley will hand it to Denson, wants to sweep left, and he is caught in the backfield. Taken down by Devin Watson at the eight-yard line. Watson firing up from his cornerback spot, and Mon Denson never had a chance. Great open field tackle by Devin Watson. Tenth play of the drive coming up for the Gamecocks. It's with the ball on the left hash mark. Quarterback draw. Bentley runs to the five. Hit at the three. Drives forward. And he will be stopped at the half-yard line where it's first and goal. First down run for Bentley, but he didn't quite get into the end zone. The crowd wanted a touchdown signal. Didn't get it. Malik Rivera, one of several Terriers to keep him out. 
nonetheless, first and goal in close for Carolina. Billy Hint was in there. George B.C. kept him out of the end zone. But, Tom, when he tucked that ball, he had plenty of room. Yeah, he had a lot of daylight, and he's a strong runner. He is. Bentley takes the shotgun snap, fakes the give to Denson. He'll slant left and walk in. Touchdown, South Carolina. Wide outs either side. Goodson will tail to his right, looks left. Now he's going to roll further to his right. Throws, diving, try. Is it caught? Lennox it McAfee is. catches it at the 40-yard line, but the official has taken his ball cap off. They spot him down at the 38, but the official took his ball cap off. Now, I don't know if he lost it or was throwing it to say somebody went out of bounds. No, the catch is going to count. First down, Wofford. Let's go to Van. Yeah, it was a clean catch. The angle I had, he, he had both hands under it. Clean catch. Great catch. First and 10 after the walk off at the Wofford 23-yard line. Bentley, four receivers. Shotgun snap. Throwing toward the end zone. Caught. Touchdown, South Carolina. That is Brian Edwards. Slant pattern from right to left. Terriers will start with three backs in a triangle behind the quarterback, Brandon Goodson, who will go out of the gun on first down. And it's a fake of the dive. Pitch far corner. McAfee has a seam up the sideline. 30-40. Lennox McAfee will be dragged out of bounds across the 45-yard line out to the 47. He is stopped by Chris Lamones, the safety, but Lennox McAfee galloping for big yards on first down. As he picks up 23, they spot him out at the 48, and I thought that was a bit of a high tackle. South Carolina four down lineman Goodson with three backs out of the gun, fakes the give, pitch far corner. Blake Morgan makes a man miss at the 20, goes down the far sideline to the 15. First down run Blake Morgan, out of bounds at the Gamecock 12. Nine more for Blake. Uh, Boy, is... he left the guy standing there. Yeah, it... This may be a bit of a overstatement. I think Blake Morgan has SEC speed. Yeah. And Goodson's going to line up in the gun with two tight ends and a receiver to the right. So he's not up under center. And we get movement before the snap. We get a flag. You get a handoff to McAfee right up the middle. I don't think he's going to make it, but I think South Carolina is going to be called for being offsides, and yep. the Terriers are going to get a first down. How about that? Rue Daniels, smart, saw the guy offside, snapped it. Yep. Petty play. Yep, one of the Gamecocks came flying in there to jam the box. It was T.J. Brunson, the middle linebacker, and he clearly was offsides. In fact, he may have made contact with Rue. Yeah. Offside. Yep. It'll be first and goal at the one. Break for the Terriers. Yeah, and, and a heady play by Rue Daniels. Yep. You can easily not snap it and let him get back. Right. But when he's right there in your face and you know he's offside, snap the ball, right. get, get four cracks at Especially it Especially in that situation. Yeah, no doubt. First and goal from the one following the walk-off. Terriers two backs, Goodson out of the gun, a single receiver to the right. Shotgun snap coming from Daniels. Handoff. Now nope, they fake the dive to Stoddard. It comes away to Blake Morgan. He'll make the right corner and score. Touchdown, Terriers. They've been on the fake. What a great drive to start this half by the Walford Terriers and give a lot of credit to that offensive line. Second and two, ball at the Terrier 35. Hurst will motion right. Now the tight end will shimmy back to his left. Out of the gun, Bentley. Handoff, Turner slanting left. Breaks the tackle in the open. 30 to the 20 to the 10. He'll be tackled from behind at the five-yard line. It is first and goal. South Carolina, Malik Rivera with the stop. That's simply an inside linebacker taking a wrong step and leading to a big hole. Bentley out of the gun with a single back sidecar right. It's Turner and Bentley going to keep it and he runs in for a touchdown right up the middle. Touchdown Jake Bentley in South Carolina. Wide outs either side. Carolina four down lineman. Newman fakes the dive. Pitch near corner. Taken to the 25. Breaking a tackle. McAfee to the 30 to the 40. Lennox McAfee threads his way up the numbers all the way out to the 49. That's a 25 yard run for Lennox McAfee. <laughs> Gamecocks will be so glad when this option is out of here because that is a frustrating play. Great blocking by the Terriers. And great decision by Joe Newman on the pitch. That's your final play of the ball game. South Carolina wins it. Your final score here at williams Bryce Stadium on this Saturday evening in Columbia. The South Carolina Gamecocks 31 and the Wofford Terriers 10. 
for the Terriers. It's on to the playoffs. Coach, turnovers and short fields will get you every time. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. Uh, We gave them way too many gifts. Uh, And when you do that against a quality football team, it's going to be one of those deals where uh, it's going to come back and bite you. And uh, Carolina's way too physical, way too strong, way too athletic to to give them – a lot of uh, opportunities. Uh, the plan was to uh, try to play a great job of keep away. Uh, we thought defensively that uh, that we could defend them, uh, but uh, we knew that uh, along the way we had to do something offensively. And uh, our first drive was a great drive. We went, took it straight down the field uh, and kicked the field goal. Uh, we came out the second half, drove it straight down the field, and got a touchdown. But uh, when you have fumbles, when you have intercepts, uh, it, it's it's going to come back and bite you, and that's what happened. You know, you, you talk about how well your defense played. You were trying to play without Dutavius Wilson, without right. Colton Clemens. You're right. starting inside right. linebackers. Right. Billy Hinton and Weston Roundtree yeah. combined for 20 tackles. They right. seem to be all over the place. Well, they, they're good players uh, in uh, Detavious and, and Colton. Uh, they're the starters. Uh, it, it's one of those deals where uh, neither one of them were able to go. Uh, and um, the, somebody's got to step up. And uh, we've had uh, for a while now uh, the philosophy, man down, man up, man up. And uh, it's uh, – it's good to see those guys get reps. It's good to see those guys perform at a high level, and, and they did some really good things. You mentioned in the postgame press conference with the media, you thought there were a number of things that were positive that you could build yeah. on going into sure. the playoffs. What were they? Well, I, I thought we did a nice job in the kicking game. I, I thought uh, defensively, until we got worn down, uh, I thought they did a great job. Uh, we uh, we did some good things offensively, but uh, we're, we're not as consistent as we needed to be. Uh, we're we're going to get back, uh, look at the film tomorrow, uh, try to get a, an idea of who we may play, and we're going to get back to work. Uh, this was the, I think it was the ninth uh, week uh, without a break, and uh, – and we've had a lot of physical ball games. So uh, it'll be good to have a few days off, uh, recover, and, uh, and get back to it. One of the goals in a game like this with the playoffs to follow is to try to stay relatively healthy. Right. Did, did, was that met today? Were, were the guys pretty much not banged up today? Well, uh, I haven't checked with the trainer, but I'm sure there were several of them that got uh, banged up, nicked up. Uh, it, it was a physical game out there. And uh, – all, all you had to do was just uh, listen, and you, you, you could hear the echoes of the hits. So uh, we, uh, we hope that uh, no one's seriously injured. Uh, we'll have to wait until tomorrow, but uh, proud of my guys. Uh, I, I thought they, they did a heck of a job of battling, and uh, we, we just didn't execute as well as we needed to. The thing about playing an FBS team when you are an FCS level club is the fact that really no matter what you do today other than winning, it won't affect your playoff seed. That's the good news for the Wofford Terriers. The tough news, three turnovers giving South Carolina short fields and the Gamecocks an SEC opponent took advantage in a 31-10 victory. So Wofford will close out the regular season 9-2 overall. They also learned today that they are sole winners of the Southern Conference Championship as Furman lost earlier. So Wofford 7-1 SOCON record, good enough to own the crown all by themselves. Now it's on to the playoffs. And the good news is Wofford didn't appear to get banged up very much in this one. They will await their playoff seating from the committee. Again, the final from Williams-Brice Stadium, South Carolina 31, Wofford 10. I'm Mark Hauser. Thanks for watching Terrier Vision.